Joining us now, he is the head coach of the Mustangs, Coach Paul Cantabene. He was down on the field. Yeah, we were, that was actually you. pretty quick, pretty quick, Party. pretty quick Party. move to get up here. By the way, that quickly. Move quicker than I look. <laughs> All right, Coach. Uh, obviously, you get the win tonight. Um, but let's start with JT, who uh, breaks the goal score. And I feel like we've been talking about it for about the last four weeks. It, uh, it finally happened, and happened in spectacular fashion, yeah. for, for what it's worth. Well, I think you know. I mean, he, he really surpassed a lot of great players. You know, beating Richie Ford. Richie Ford was a special player here. That scored a lot of tremendous goals and it was an outstanding four-time All-American for us. And uh, but to beat that record at 180, 81 goals is really something special. I think JT, well, you know, that's going to be a long time before somebody beats that record. And so that's really something special for him to do that. And I think the whole team wanted him to do that. You know, he's worked really hard, and it's not for lack of shots, that's for sure. Uh, but um, but uh, he's done a great job, and we're, we're really happy for him. Anytime somebody breaks a major record in any kind of sport like that or their school, that's really a, something really really special. Uh, you know, so uh, we're, we couldn't be more happy for. And, uh, you know, every guy would just give him a huge hand in the locker room and everything. So it's awesome. It's cool. It's cool. Uh, that being said, I'm sure there are things from the night that you're not quite as thrilled about. I, I would assume transition defense, perhaps, on that well, we list. we got to get in the hole, you know what I mean? I think we didn't do a good job in a ride at all. We did a good job in the first half. They scored four goals, three were in transition, one was in man up, and they gave him a couple in the second half. we got to get in and play six on six. We play six on six, we're a very good defensive team, and we give Mark a chance. When we do some things, and I think our often young, your young middies, you know, sometimes get caught in some situations, and they don't understand what to do yet, and we have to live through that and help them out uh, and to do that. And, uh, but uh, you know, we also got to do a couple things better through the box and how we sub, and you know, we got to continue to do better that. But you know, overall, when you went in the playoffs by one or 40, it doesn't matter. You move on, and we're happy to do that, and we won. And we knew they were going to play us a lot tougher. You know, Horton always plays us, always plays great against us, and he was the big difference. You know, you know, he some of those saves were pretty spectacular. We probably could have had seven or eight more without without him, somebody else in there, and uh, and so I give him a lot of credit. He played great in, in the goal and kept his team in it all night. Besides getting into the hole in, the, in your transition game, is there any area that you really need to improve in before championship game Saturday? Well, we got to face off a little bit better. I think Shiloh, Shiloh did a good job, but he's got to pick the ball up. He's good at getting out, but he's not doing so well in the, the ground ball area. Uh, he's got to do better there. And But I think we got to shoot the ball a little bit better, which we will. And uh, But, you know, I think I like the way we're playing overall. I think we're playing tough. And so this, I think and uh, we're giving ourselves an opportunity. So whoever we play, I think we'll play really well now. And, and Lycombe, I guess, won. So we'll give, them a, we'll give a great go against them on uh, Saturday. And obviously a day that you like to have a lot of uh, Mustangs fans out here. Yeah, and come on out. Let's go. <laughs> right? and a special day, too. It, neat. I know that like, for the women to be playing on Saturday as well here at home, a really neat day for everybody here at well, Steve. Anytime you're hosting two championship games in your campus, it's a special day. You know what I mean? Coach Rayleigh will go at one, I believe, and we'll go at seven and, and get after it. And, uh, you know, hopefully you can bring two championships home. Uh, but championship games are, you know, tough. you got to go out there and play and execute, and anything can happen. And, uh, you know, it was good that we got ahead of Widener today and made them on the, uh, always chasing us and never were able to get the lead. And I think that's big against teams like that. we got to do the same thing against Lycom. I thought last time we I didn't think we really played well against them. I think uh, uh, so. I think we can really uh, hopefully play pretty well and, and do what we can. We got to face another really good goaltender. Yeah. All right, coach. Congratulations. We'll see you on Saturday. Thanks a lot, JT. Get in yeah, here, buddy. Right, let's do it. The record holder, Coach Paul Cantabana, joining us.